leads kids to make an unsettling discovery. Unknown creatures crawling all over the park. Senior reporter Jake Wasikowski finds out what it was. Splash pads are a cool break from the August heat. And that goes for one little critter showing up at a family park. She said, look, Mom, look at these. And she said, they're so cute. Crystal Kuchera took her kids to Cimarron Woods Splash Pad Tuesday evening. Kind of floating around in there in the baggie. This is video she took of about 100 little slimy animals her daughters picked up from the water and put in a bag. OK, and I'm looking at them like, I'm not really sure what those are. They're not slugs. They're not worms. They're they're not they didn't look like leeches, but that was my first thought then. And so, yeah, we were just curious about what they what they were. She posted it on Facebook and got all kinds of responses trying to figure out what they are or giving their reaction. Jody Green, an entomologist with the UNL Extension Office, says they're larvae from the soldier fly family. A splash pad where there's water and there's you know soil around, especially in neighborhoods where they have parks, that's going to be pretty optimal for them to breed in. So that's probably why um, you know we're, we're seeing them. Green says these soldier fly larvae are harmless and actually pretty common, but may startle people because they're just not used to ever really seeing them. Probably would have freaked out at first, but I don't like bugs at all, so nothing to be concerned about. I mean, kids want to play, so they will. <laughs> Soldier flies don't look like your typical house fly, but they're beneficial because they break down organic matter. Some are still crawling around the splash pad, but Green says no need to kill them, just move them to the grass. Crystal says her kids love learning new things about nature, and they'll definitely be back. It was fun to find out that, that it was nothing to be concerned of, really, actually maybe beneficial. Honestly, probably my kids will go and want to explore and touch them some more. I don't know. Reporting in La Vista, Jake Wazikowski, 3 News Now.